Uh, my name is Bill Scales. I'm President and CEO of Scales Industrial Technologies. We all know that controlling blood pressure is the key to remaining healthy. Similarly, controlling the pressure in a compressed air system is the key to a healthy compressed air system. We've done thousands of audits throughout the world and we've always resulted in observing elevated pressure well above what is necessary to often really meet the end use operation. Too many operators feel that more pressure is better, more is better, when in fact higher pressure increases compressor wear, it radiates more heat, it can lead to premature failure of end use components, most importantly in a 100 psi G system. Simply reducing the pressure by 10 psi will decrease the energy cost 5%. Only 20% of the input power is going to compress the air. The other 80% is transformed to heat, which is not always recoverable. Any savings in compressed air are greatly magnified in energy savings. Minimizing the pressure drops in systems is paramount in being able to reduce your energy costs. The key is to minimize pressure drops in all areas. Compressed air systems, we have a 325 page manual best practices for compressed air systems and a lot of that is devoted to reducing the pressure in the compressed air system. In other words what we're looking to do is we want to keep the pressure on but not too much.